Hello and welcome back to Vampire. So we are gonna return to the Ascalon Club after killing Doris uh, in the theater and uh, cleaning up some houses in the area. Well, it it helped. It helped, but we didn't really stop the infection, I suppose. And if anything, we see more and more uh, infected. Which is just really bad. Oi! I came to talk to the boss. Don't stand in my way. Oh! Hey there! You wanted to talk to me, right? Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Um... Elizabeth, it kind of feels like we we completely skipped uh, the dating, the, the the everything, the every step, and now we are like married for at least I don't know, at least ten years. I don't know. I I, I actually I don't know, but still. That that's that's the impression I got. I don't know. I, I don't think she's just being polite. I suppose I shouldn't read into it. I don't know. I don't really want to talk to these uh, suckers here. I'm the guy who gets uh, things done around here. Yeah, I'm just a new muscle, aren't I? I clearly am. Well, I don't even get paid for it. Report to Lord Redgrave about Darius Fletcher. Redgrave? What's up? Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. You kind of make it sound like I'm, I'm doing this all with my deck. Come on, Lord Redgrave, stop using the lance to describe me or my actions. Uh, because it's gonna get weird. I did my best. I'm just a doctor. I did my best. I did my best. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. Who? I thought I choose. I want to choose. I choose who I make an Ekon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm the best candidate for such a task. I can hear the hesitation in your voice, Dr. Reed. I admire a man of principles. But in this matter, there is more at stake than your moral comfort. It's not a moral question, Lord Redgrave. It's the responsibility of giving immortality to a man I barely know. Nonsense. Aloysius has been a member of the Ascalon for years. This is but the fruition of a long-held plan. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson Estate. Once the deed is done, 
I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Your word is my command? Didn't realize I was your bitch. I have questions. Can I say no? Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. Why him? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Did he choose me? Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least. But it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. I see. How should I proceed? How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. I just give him my blood. What? I just give him my blood? Is there any danger? Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. That doesn't mean a damn thing. What does that mean? How so? I just give him my blood? So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Okay. You invited Lady Ashbury? You invited Lady Ashbury? Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Well, thanks for inviting my wife. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. <sighs> well, time to bail. Honey, ready to head out? Right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson. To make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? You'd be a very handy resource. I don't know that. I won't do it. I'd like, I'd like your advice. Yeah. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? Yes! I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and <gasps> only capable of creating skulls. I have more questions! The scandal! Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. Maybe this is not the, uh, the place for it. Um. About Dawson? What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Okay, fair enough. About making Dawson an Econ. Okay, I do value your, uh... Your advice. Okay, about Dawson? What would happen if I made Dawson an Econ like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control. 
like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Yeah, that's an assumption. I suppose I'm just gonna have a talk with him. About Lord Redgrave? Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. How can you be so sure? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan. I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall. And yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. I don't really care, but I, I suppose we got some dirt on him. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. I suppose I don't care about it, but they do, so... It's still valuable information. I'm not sure how we're gonna hold this over his head. Uh, but I guess we got something. You know, a little bit of just in case. I li like having those. Alright, see ya wife. Forgot to kiss you. And uh... <clears throat> not sure where I'm going now. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when we producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson unite. wants me to sire him. Okay, let's see. Oh, Dawson is over there. Women's right to vote is only the first step. Really? This is really not the time, especially in front of the Ascalon Club. Temple Garden. Can we go into the garden? Yep. Is it a good idea though? Probably not. Leech spike! Look lively! I'm just snacking on your buddy in the bushes. Murder him, boss! No, I wanna get out of that. How do I go down? No! Oh, I should have never entered the garden. I guess I'm just gonna have a talk with the man and see what's what. I think yes. She's right. Elizabeth is right. In more ways. In, well, there's no. Assuming that she, what she said is true, she's right about everything. I think is. Yes. Uh, we can just let him die, I suppose. The the Ascon Club is not gonna be happy about that. But if I cross them, that might be the end of their dealings with me. And I will just simply not know what their plans are in the first place. What? What? Oh, that's even worse. What the f hell? Okay, 
Okay, I need the bat. I need more health. Temple Garden. Nah. So he's about here, apparently. No! There was a gate here all along! It's fine. Is he in here? No way. It's locked, all right. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Oh, I see. Somewhere in the park. Really? Why in the park? Maybe this, uh, coagulation skill is not the best in the first place. Seems like it's only disables, not stuns. Oh, it's technically like putting to sleep. That's how it works in other games. Go away, please. Wow, my health is going down like crazy. Go, heal. Heal again. Okay, this is the best. I do like the armor. Damn it. It stops them momentarily. But maybe it's not really worth putting a lot of points into. I like the shield. I don't know if he's ever gonna replace coagulation for something. Maybe I shouldn't have leveled it up to such a high level. It's not as good. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. What passage? He said it here. So damn dark. It's locked, all right. What? It's locked, all right. Wait to reward my exploration. We need to find the key as well. Hey, mister. You London vampires are so weak. <laughs> <laughs> This is my territory. Whoa, what the hell? Gotcha. Did you do? I'm gonna get stunned by a shadow. <laughs> Fuck off, shadow. Can I do that too? It seems like an effective skill. Good handle part. So, we're getting close. So I suppose we're just gonna murder everything. Oh, this is it. Really? Didn't I find a weapon? I think I found a one-handed weapon. 
I should check it out. Is it like a offhand weapon? No, we got one. It's 140 damage. Okay. It's not bad. It's pretty decent. Basically, it attacks twice as fast as our as our Kodgo club. And our club basically has uh, deals uh, 10 damage for every stamina, but this does uh, 7 damage for every stamina, which is not great, but this allows for an offhand weapon. But can we actually drop the stamina cost? Or just damage, which could make it more efficient. Doing either uh, makes it more efficient. Yeah, we can do that. Absorb blood points when the weapon hits. 2.5. So we can bump the damage up to 168. And the stamina cost to 18. Which would make it... Somewhat comparable to our club. Good handle. Flat plate. We can also level it up. 140. Do we have enough for our club? No, we don't have enough lead rods. Wait, what? Do I have enough? So I, I need... 8. And I have 1 lead rod. Which is not great. Do I need some daggers? Like, I suppose this is uh, one way to spend some stamina and get some blood instead. Can we level these up? Okay, for less stamina. For mo more blood. I suppose more blood is better. When you're actually using it, you, you wanna at least get some blood out of it. You can get 10 blood out, or 20 blood out of it. But then we would need to level up two weapons. But we could actually use a pump action shotgun as well. Still, something to consider, I suppose. How many upgrades we have here? It looks like I can afford these upgrades for the most part. Anyway, uh, something to consider next time we are at the crafting bench. Also, we're gonna need more lead pipes, I suppose. So, what's going on here? Rust to evolve, but we gotta find the bed. Come rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. Now you should get used to it at this point. Wait, what? Let's do the ultimate. What? He's so tanky. Like an easy fight for now. Okay, that's annoying. So he's tanky, but so far not too dangerous. Foolish. 
Okay, let's just hide behind the pillar. Yeah, I'm gonna take the snack. 400 damage. We're snacking. Okay. Didn't get hit for that. Bring up my health. I will crush you. Well, you're tanky, but it's fine. We can deal with you. I'm more afraid of the ones that just insta kill me. For Ascalon? Really? No, 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 don't punch me. Show me your power, you Show me my Show you my power? I can do that. Nah, that's more like it. Or even just the meat bag. But why he wanted to kill me? That's the big question here. Because apparently he was serving Ascalon by trying to murder me. But how so? I'm serving Ascalon too. Am I sent on a mission? Because they know that I'm not gonna... But this is just a excuse me, excuse to get me away, but... Uh, the leadership is actually afraid of my power, so they are sending me away. And they're just trying to kill me. By one very tough guy, who was actually not as tough as they <laughs> believed. Who knows? We just don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Door has been unlocked. Don't know where I'm going. So we're not gonna go up there. We're gonna continue over here. Ah, more of this. Lower is better, right? It's not good. I don't think lower is necessarily better. We need to have it at a certain level. I cannot enter. Oh, I need to raise it up to a certain level? Okay. I have this bridge. It's part of the mechanism. Why not just have it over here? Does it serve any purpose that the bridge is moving? I don't know. Apparently not. It's also the a really bad way to make sure that it's not wet. Go back. Snake time. It'd be nice to kill at least one of them. Come on, let's go. Camera. Let me go. Oh, I can't go in there. Camera, let me go.
Oh, well, unfortunately, this is what we have to do to heal up. Wow, okay. I got hit once. I can run away again. Oh, that's terrible. Not sure what I'm supposed to do other than run away and heal up again. I'm just gonna get hit. Okay, that's snack. While we are doing this, they can't hit me. Go away. Let's, let's kill at least one guy. No, it's not gonna work. We can't run away with the lock camera. Let me go. Let me go. The shield. the shield is awesome. I didn't see in time. Oh, wait. Can't even really use my ultimate. Ooh, I need to cancel the lock camera. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Please, can we just kill one guy? No! Please! Well done. Killed by three several scales. Sewer scales. Well done, game. And you're always locked into a fight. You can't just run away. Except if you're just fighting with thugs outside. But many times you're locked in. Now I have less blood. What are we doing here? Other than getting attacked? I can't open that door. It was an option, but... Okay, there are four we need to kill. And we almost did it. Oh, come on! Good luck running away with luck, can you? No! Maybe if you had more AoE skills at this point. And it's very easy to miss the skills if you don't lock the camera on them. Maybe it makes me immortal. Now if you can just kill, pinch off this guy, that would be epic. But I think I'm just pushing it. And I shouldn't do it. So basically my best option is just to run around, heal up any partial damage that they do, and wait for my shield, else we have no chance. And I need to go away. Ultimate is not good, they can still hit me while I'm doing it. Please let me go. I don't know what you're doing with the game. So I need to beat 30, 4 30 level scals in the tunnels. Okay, 
One down. Hell yeah! This bump of victory over nobody. Damn it. Okay. That's what you get for trying to lock the camera. Maybe this is too high level, but this is where we need to go. They have 10 level above me. Oh, we need to feed. We can go from like one hit or two hits. Perfect. Oh, feed again. One hit at most. Okay, we're back. I mean, my character, good at sustaining, good at longer fights. More of a single target guy, because that seemed to be the biggest challenge, usually. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, we can snack on you? Why didn't you say that? Face bump of victory. Rest in peace. Queen in. This is quite dangerous. So where the hell am I going? Okay, that's done. I can also go back, but do I need to go somewhere over here? I just don't know. And uh, playing a sneaky character, at least solely a sneaky character, is unviable. Not, I don't know. I don't know if it's unviable. But maybe like playing a sneaky character that's also very diplomatic, that could be unviable. It's probably viable, just hard. Follow, <clears throat> follow the passage to reach uh, the Dawson Mansion. But how so? Am I supposed to drop the water level now? Oh, okay. Got stairs. See? This bridge uh, never connects to any never connects anything else. So it's there's zero chance why it should be moving. Okay, we can jump across, jump across. Small bag of junk. Okay, sure. Luis! Are you over here? Oh boy. Luis, are you... Are you Luis? You London disgusting yeah. asshole! Uh. Vampire or not, yeah. never be on oh, yeah, thank you. Uh. Wait, what? How long yeah. are you gonna keep me locked in here? Uh. Maybe that's how I should play it. When I put this, put that on him, I'm just using it as a way to restore my stamina. And now you're getting it. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Good handle part, but we need some lead pipes. Man, I love the decoration in this place. Hey! You're my slave now. Are you alright, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead. That no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon. Because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Oh. I can cure her headache. Oh, how'd they do it? Good. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know your My father. How do I do it? Do I have it? I don't think I have two treatments for headache. Damn. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Let's go. She was good as that. Saved her. Opium. Oh. They finally got out. And if we can find a bed, uh, we probably should use it. Enter the mansion. Not sure where it is, though. The district is staple. Temple church. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.